Hello, and welcome to the virtual community workshop for the US 50 classroom improvements. In this video, we will go over some of the background issues on US 50, how the questions were revived through Caltrans Recreational Travel Hotspot Transportation Management Study, why addressing US 50 is important for traffic relief in Eldorado County, and some of the proposed alternatives for major improvements in the Placerville area. We want to hear your feedback on these concepts and which ones will work best to relieve traffic congestion and improve the quality of life in the area. With that, let's jump into the video. Like so many things in Eldorado County, there is a history here. It took about 35 years from the time US 50 was constructed back in 1955 before congestion became problematic. In 1989, Caltrans issued a project study report and held public meetings to consider operational improvements on US 50 through Placerville and into the Camino community. By 1996, Caltrans was considering major improvements, including widening US 50 to six lanes, adding flyover ramps, and adding grade separations at local road crossings. Through the public hearings held at the time, it was clear that the city of Placerville and surrounding communities did not support Caltrans proposal people just weren't ready for a large project like this. Going back to the drawing board, Caltrans looked for smaller fixes. They developed the Placerville Traffic Operational Improvement Report in the year 2000, but it was found that the alternatives would not relieve traffic congestion through Placerville. A new set of operational improvements, including auxiliary lanes, Hangtown Bridge improvements, and a connection from Placerville Drive to Main Street were developed in 2002. After public hearings and approvals, the improvements were constructed in 2008. Several efforts have been made since then, including a State Route 49 realignment study, Bay to Tahoe Basin Tourism and Recreation Travel Impact Study, and an Agritourism Study to parse out the issues and recommend improvements to deal with the ongoing congestion problems on US 50. Throughout the years, Caltrans has tweaked the signal timing through Placerville on a near constant basis to try and improve traffic flow without any lasting success. Which is why, during the peak of Sunday traffic, there is still an average of about a 33 second delay getting through Placerville eastbound, but a whopping 712 second delay, nearly 12 minutes, going westbound. So this may have you thinking, what is the US 50 Recreation Travel Hotspot Transportation Management Study? In 2019, the Eldorado County Transportation Commission, or EDCTC, in partnership with Caltrans District 3 and the City of Placerville, kicked off this study to evaluate and identify traffic management strategies to improve trip reliability, safety, and congestion from west of Placerville all the way to the Nevada State Line. Traffic management strategies include techniques like real-time traffic information, ramp metering, stopped traffic alerts, and traffic signal technologies as opposed to construction of large infrastructure improvements. Through the public outreach to this recreation travel transportation management study, it became clear that the public felt that traffic management strategies were not going to be enough. The low hanging fruit, the low cost solutions have all been exhausted and the community might be ready to reconsider major infrastructure improvements. So where are we now? Currently, US 50 in Eldorado County and Placerville experiences congestion during peak hours and weekends at three signalized intersections Canal Street, Spring Street, and Bedford Avenue, and backs up all the way to Mosquito Road during peak recreational seasons. The project study team has narrowed down a wide variety of ideas and configurations down to a set of four proposed alternatives that would improve traffic conditions and reduce delays on the US 50 through Placerville, including revisits to options that the public were not ready to pursue in the past. These are presented here for the public's consideration. Specifically, the alternatives that we will go over in this video seek to address the traffic congestion issues by widening lanes or building new structures to accommodate additional lanes, including visual simulations of how traffic would flow on US 50 and the adjacent roads. The improvements to traffic flow are based on a three hour peak demand Sunday afternoon and cost estimates you will see are very general to give a sense of the order of magnitude of the costs involved. So what are these alternatives? Alternative one. Third westbound lane. Alternative one might seem pretty familiar as this proposed project dates back to 1989 and was revisited in 1996 and in 2005. Alternative one would add a third lane to westbound US 50 that begins at Mosquito Road, continues until Placerville Drive, and then end as an exit only lane at the Placerville Drive off ramp. Essentially, this would configure westbound US 50 to be the same as eastbound through Placerville. 
Along with the construction of the third lane, this alternative will require widening of multiple bridges and undercrossings, modifications to the Coloma off-ramp, and the construction of a new pedestrian overcrossing between Canal Street and Spring Street. The project will make a big dent in the delay westbound, but by no means eliminated, going from about 12 minutes to about 3. Eastbound traffic delays would increase slightly, while traffic delay on connecting local roads would remain high. This alternative is the least expensive, though still estimated to cost between $150 and $200 million. Alternative 2. Elevated Toll Lanes Alternative 2 proposes to add a two-lane, toll lane structure over US 50 that will handle the traffic that is passing through Placerville, particularly for those who are traveling to and from Apple Hill and South Lake Tahoe, with the current US 50 remaining the same to accommodate local travel. This raised highway would be more than 3,800 feet long and would elevate the first lane of US 50 after the eastbound Placerville Drive on-ramp merges with US 50 to add a third lane. The westbound on-ramp to the raised structure would begin west of Placerville Drive and end west of Locust Avenue at approximately 2,600 feet. The eastbound ramp would begin west of Canal Street and end with the existing highway west of Locust Avenue at approximately 330 feet. The raised toll lanes will require widening of multiple undercrossings in addition to the removal of the pedestrian overcrossing at Coloma Street and Bedford Avenue. This project could divert nearly half of the total traffic, up to 2,500 vehicles per hour, off the main line and reduce delays westbound down to about 90 seconds. Local traffic delays would also be reduced. However, building elevated structure raises the cost, which are estimated between 300 and 350 million. Tolls could help offset these costs, with net revenue estimates in the range of one to two million dollars annually. Alternative three, elevated freeway. This alternative will convert US 50 to an elevated freeway through Canal and Spring Streets, which means that the traffic signals will be eliminated and access will be primarily through full interchanges. This alternative requires the construction of a frontage road to connect the end of the ramps at Canal and Spring Streets under US 50. The north-south connection at Bedford Avenue would be eliminated, but a right-in, right-out connection would be added. The elevated freeway section will be more than 1,400 feet long and approximately 80 feet wide starting as the Placerville Drive eastbound ramp merges with the US 50. The freeway would provide two lanes for westbound traffic and one lane for eastbound traffic separated by a concrete barrier. An elevated freeway would virtually eliminate the backups on the main line of US 50 and delays on local roads. Again, elevated structures and frontage roads are not cheap, and this alternative is estimated to cost between $300 and $350 million. Alternative 4 Super Streets. Alternative 4 is similar to Alternative 1 and would add a third lane to the westbound US 50 starting at Locust Avenue. The difference here is that the local roads at signalized intersections such as Canal Street, Spring Street, and Bedford Avenue would be right turn only, which allows better flow on the main line of Highway 50. On the other hand, this can make traffic movements for local roads a little more complicated for traffic turning left and continuing as they will have to make a U-turn at the Placerville or Mosquito Road interchanges. This alternative brings the delays on westbound US 50 down to just over one minute in the Sunday peak period, with eastbound traffic still having about a 45 second delay. Traffic delay on local roads would also be reduced. This alternative is less expensive than those with elevated structures, but still estimated to cost between 200 million and 250 million dollars. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about the US 50 Placerville improvements. We want to hear your thoughts about the proposed alternatives. Please provide your feedback now until October 16th. Thank you.